Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Hey, 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 ladies. Pucker Mike coming at you with another custom action figure showcase. In this episode, I'm showcasing my custom Kaneta action figure. Kick it! Alright, so kicking it off, if you guys aren't familiar with Shotaro Kaneta, he's a character from Katsuhiro Otomo's masterpiece, Akira. And if you've never seen the anime motion picture Akira, or seen or checked out any of the manga, I mean, come on, man, what are you doing with your life? But I'd highly, highly recommend checking out the movie or the manga. Check them both out. Check them all out. Check everything out. I mean, definitely one of those properties that has something for everybody. Even if you don't like anime or Japanese comics, I mean, this property is just a staple in pop culture in general. I mean, inspiring movies, music, musicians, and even American comic book artists. So check that shit out. Come on, bro. So this Kinect is made up of a couple different parts. So the main ingredients are from a third party seller from China. He was selling a soft goods, iconic Kaneda jacket, the pants. He's also throwing in a head sculpt, gloves, and boots. So basically the perfect starting point to make this figure. So this kit is made to go on a damn toys blank body, which are fairly inexpensive. I mean, I think like 20 to 30 bucks, maybe cheaper or somewhere in that range. Unfortunately, I didn't have one and I didn't really feel like going out and getting one just for this custom. So I kind of looked around to see what I had. So a Damn Toys Blank Body is right in between, I say, a 3A figure and an SH Figuarts Body Coon. So the Damn Toys is just about in between those. So a figure that I have a lot of are 3A figures. So I figured a 3A figure would be perfect for this. The clothes fit it pretty good and I'll just have to mod a couple things here and there to make other components fit snug. So I was actually really surprised with the head that it came with, sculpted really well, and it came in two pieces. So you have the bulk of the head and then the bangs was a separate part. So that way you could paint up the whole head, get all the detail on the face, and then glue in the bangs after. So you can see the bangs kind of like hang down a little bit. So having it two pieces works out super good. And then I was able just to uh, fill in the seam line right here uh, with just a little bit of sculpt and then went over it with some black paint so then you can't really see that it was a two piece. So I did mention I used a 3A figure. So with 3A bodies, they just have a ball peg in between the shoulders and then the head usually has a neck attached to it. So it's not a two piece neck and head, it's a one solid piece. So I had to modify the head that came with it to accommodate the 3A body. Did a little bit of surgery and swooped the neck off of a uh, scrap 3A figure and then I dremeled out uh, the third party Kaneta head to accommodate the neck. So that way it's one piece. That way it just pops on all nice and easy. So yeah, I was really surprised on the jacket. Uh, I got the iconic pill on the back. Stitching's really good. Uh, I did have a couple seams split just a little bit, just on the front. You can kind of see right there, just right here. But I have been kind of messing around with it a little bit rough. So I'll be stoked if this jacket holds up over time. Like I said, the quality's really nice. Uh, for the price range, I believe it was like 35, 40 bucks, something like that, shipped out of China. And it's a pretty good deal considering you get uh, the soft goods outfit plus the heads, boots, and gloves. So not bad. So I was scrounging around looking for an undershirt. That way he's not just like beefing it under the jacket. So, you know, I have some white 3A shirts, some black and white uh, 3A tank tops. So I was kind of looking around to see what's going to fit the best. Um, some of the 3A clothes are a little bulky to be an undershirt. So I had an extra Yusuke Yurameshi third-party figure. And then he comes with a white undershirt under his school clothes. So I had bought a couple of those. One of them I'm customizing so I didn't need the undershirt. That shirt actually fits perfect under here. Tucks in to the pants. It's not bulky. It's a nice thin material. You can see the collar's really thin. So that actually fit perfect. So super stoked on that. And same thing with the jacket. Pants are tailored really nice. Fits great on the 3A figure. They look great. Pretty sturdy. Uh, one downfall is that this material, those pleathery kind of material, it does have some flex to it, but not as much as I'd like. So especially like doing splits or anything like that, it's a little tight. Uh, but overall look and quality so far have been great, so stoked on that. So the gloves that came with the Connecticut were actually sculpted really nice. They look good. Uh, you had the iconic one sleeve rolled up, one sleeve rolled down. Uh, but in my opinion, I felt like they were a little on the small side, and they were like a harder rigid plastic. And I feel like 
Uh, they won't hold up too well over time, especially if I got him in and out of his bike, putting props or a gun in his hand. So what better to use on a 3A figure than a 3A hands? So I found some kind of just generic looking smaller glove hands. You got the relaxed hand, got the trigger hand, and then these are generic enough where I can dig through the bins and find other kind of gestures and emote kind of hands if I needed it for something else for a specific shot. And so the cuffs are actually a separate part. So the cuffs came from an articulated icons arm pack. So I was a huge supporter of the original, the original release uh, articulated icons. So I scooped up a bunch of arm packs knowing that I'll use them for customs down the line. And included in the arm packs are some different kind of wrist cuffs. So I was able just to sand those, prime them, paint them, and match the color I painted the gloves. So that way, it's, since it's a separate piece, you know, you can articulate his wrist still. And look at that, your boy forgot to paint the fucking wrist. <laughs> I have to go back and paint that. But that way, you know, he can articulate his wrist and you can kind of just slide the cuff over and that way it's not one solid piece. So you can see this is one of the gloves that came with it. It's kind of at a fixed pose, a little on the smaller side and I would have to uh, modify that. And this was the other one with the sleeve rolled up. And same thing with the botas. So I decided to go with 3A boots. You can see the original ones they are sculpted nice, but same thing too, man, a little on the small side. And you can see they're pretty skinny, they're short. So 3A came out with a Sam Slade figure and he came with really nice boots. So similar to Kaneda's boots. And this is what it looked like uh, from the factory. So you can see it's one solid piece, just like the one that came with the Connecticut. But what I did is I got a razor blade and I cut it just right here. And then I kind of just dremeled it out and everything. That way I can get some ankle articulation and get a little bit of ankle pivot right there. Move that bit side to side and then a little bit of up and down. So not too, too articulated, but definitely better than just a solid piece. And then I just had to repaint these from scratch. So of course I had to load this dude up with a couple accessories. So I made a gun just out of a couple of different guns. So this, I believe the base, like the bulk of the gun is from, uh, remember that Target three pack they did back in the day with Agent Coulson, Nick Fury, and Maria Hill? I think. And you know, everybody was buying that shit up because it went uh, super clearance. I bought a bunch of them just for the suit bodies, but they had like this kind of cool gun on there. So I kind of just modified it, cut a couple things off here and there. I found another gun and I glued this piece on and then put like a scope from another gun. So this was made up of like, I think three different guns. And then obviously once I glued it all together, kind of repainted it, gave it a different paint job. Um, so it looks similar to the gun. And the gun is portrayed a couple of different ways. I mean, throughout the manga, the anime, uh, promotional art. It's got a lot of different looks to it. So so like I do with a lot of my customs, um, when it comes to the figure itself or even accessories, try to stay true to the design, throw a little bit of my own flavor on there, and then also utilize what I have in my arsenal and my bins. Kind of a, a good mix between the three. This is just some regular black wire that came off some type of electronic device. And then... You got the little power pack right here, this little like little 3A accessory, and then I added a 3A strap. So I put a little bracket right here to secure it on the side. And then uh, what has the little clip right here, and I just drilled a hole so that way he's got a little soft goods strap. And this thing is a little bit small. I had a couple different other options. I had this, which is also a 3A accessory. I didn't like how it was too long. If it was a little wider, um, that would have been nice. And I do like the X on there, but I didn't like how it was just like long. And then this bad boy, but this guy I felt like was too big. So I like the way this one looked right here. And then of course my dude's got to have some goggles. So I sculpted these from scratch and I had, nah, I didn't. These are from Mesco Doc Nocturnal. I thought they looked pretty cool on him. You got a dude looking all sick, all geared up, strapped up, ready to mob. So here's Kaneda stacking up next to Joker, another Akita custom I made. If you haven't seen the video on how I made him, Go check that shit out after this. And some other 3A customs from the Akita universe, just some generic clown gang members. And this is my older kind of like urban 3A version of Kaneda that I made a while back. Red tracksuit, all-star chucks, got the Siggy. And of course, my boy ain't complete unless he's mobbing on his sick ass bike. <laughs> Bonus! I know you guys are thinking, is this fool really gonna glance over the fact that he's got this sick ass backdrop and he's not gonna break it down? Come on now. Huh? So this is kind of work in progress right now. I'm still kind of trying to hash out exactly what pieces of like tech and stuff that I'm actually going to put on here and like rubble and stuff. 
before I start like priming and painting everything and gluing because I don't really think I'm going to make this modular. I think I'm just going to like put it all one piece. I got some stuff right here that I'm painting up. Uh, I'm just putting on some base base coats right now. And then you know, I got various pieces like I got this blade motorcycle that I kind of disassembled a little bit and painted red. Some like base pieces that came with various figures and just like random like tech and scrap kind of bullshit. So I'm making some progress on the Kineta throne. Just wrapped up the uh, little backdrop like the little stone backdrop. Um, so you got like the bas relief from Lady Mayako's temple and then just like some random like stone pieces. So the image, the image that I'm pulling from, like Kaneda chilling on his throne, it always kind of tripped me out because I always feel like the, like the stone backdrop is like far off in the distance. Just because uh, if you seen like Lady Mayako's temple and the bas relief, uh, there's different sizes. So sometimes it'll be small, like a door. Sometimes it'll take up the whole wall, like that image, like this image. It's just like everywhere throughout the temple, so there's different sizes. But then these, like this especially, kind of looks like a building kind of. And these look like parts of a building. I don't know, it kind of trips me out a little bit. So I kind of just went off of what I thought looked good. So this is all just foam, pink foam. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the figure. Hope it inspired you. Check out some other videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. You guys can follow me on Instagram. My handle is punker underscore Mike. And we'll see you next time.